Hi guys, today we're going to be working on a wee bit of recall training with Lucy, the six month old Frenchie and we're going to add a whistle into the command. <laughs> The reason we add a whistle in is it's a very clear, concise um, command to give her and we're only going to ever use it for recall so it'll not be getting misused in the house by mistake. So Lucy's already quite good with her recall with a command come but it has been used a few times where she's decided that she's not going to listen to it and there hasn't been a lead attached there at the time so she's kind of learned that if there's something more interesting that she can ignore it. So all we're going to do with the whistle is we're going to make it very clear and a hundred percent that any time she hears the whistle she comes back to us. The way we're going to do it is we're going to start using the command she already knows which is the come command. Lucy! Lucy come! Good girl, yes. Oh, good girl. So that's an interesting one there, because Lucy decided that knowing what she knows, she could sometimes listen and sometimes she, she, she could just ignore. So the first one there, I gave her, she came straight back to me. The second one, she decided that maybe was a wee bit too good to, to play me. So I just gave her a wee bit of gentle weight pressure to bring her attention back to me. And when she came back, she got all the attention that she wanted. Alright, so we're guaranteeing success every single time. So we're going to start phasing out the cum command that I'm using. Even see if we can get a return back before she gets to, to me. Lucy! Good girl, <laughs> yes! That was brilliant. So she's stopped there in her tracks on hearing the whistle. So we're not adding any command in here apart from that whistle. So we can be 100% on that whistle now. So the more we build up the distraction levels and the distance, the more we can guarantee the success of getting that recall. We'll run a few more of them. Now that she's interested, the sticker will be a good one. Good girl, yes! <laughs> good girl! And then we'll get her coming back to you, Maeve. Lucy! Good girl, yes! <laughs> oh, she's so clever. Take the long line off, because we've not used that in a wee while. And we're going to do it, because we've got it zero distraction now, hopefully we should have it without the use of the long line, which she's decided to take there anyway. <laughs> Lucy! Come Lucy! Clever girl! Good girl! Yes! <laughs> good job! You can't eat a stick hand eat a bit of curtain. <laughs> right, so I'm just, I'm just going to turn myself off again. Lucy! Less interesting. Yes! Good girl! <laughs> so that was no lead. Just coming back to me, even though she was engaged with Maeve because she's getting used to that, that whistle. Meaning... Lucy! Yes! Good girl! Oh, she's so clever! Let's see that So, every time she comes back, she gets loads of praise, loads of reward, and it's just finding the right timing to take that long line off, because when you take that long line off, Lucy. you've got to absolutely have it nailed on to guarantee oh, that she knows so it. Clever. So when we move up to a higher distract, we're going to then add the long line back on with the same drill. All you need to do is just add distraction levels and add distance to it. Every time you do it, you guarantee that she comes back. And if that means she's on the long line, then that's what you do. If you're getting totally confident, then we can take the long line off and run through the same drill. And this is a drill that we're going to be doing probably four or five times today. And then leaving it with our owner to run through every single day when she's out. So that when it comes to a time where she really needs it, she can pull the, the whistle out of her pocket and we've got perfect recall to get her back.